Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. Now before you get into today's video, it's my birthday on the 4th of December and if you want to send a card, drop me a message on one of my social media platforms and I'll give you the address. Really I'm asking because I have no friends. Now onto the title of today's video, which if you read the, if you read the title, you already know Attempting to explain borderline personality disorder. Now when I say attempting, I want you guys to understand that BPD is a very complex mental illness. BPD is also known as EUPD, Emotional Unstable Personality Disorder. Personally, I prefer the term borderline personality disorder. I'd rather be called a borderline than emotionally unstable, but all in all it is a personal choice. Some people don't like the name word borderline, it's outdated, doesn't really make sense with the diagnosis. It's a personal preference. I prefer BPD to EUPD. When it comes to symptoms, there are four key areas. Emotional instability, disturbed patterns of thinking, impulse behaviour, unstable relationships. Let's go into more detail into these areas. Starting with emotional instability. If you have BPD, you may experience a range of intense negative emotions, such as rage, Sorrow, shame, panic, terror, emptiness, loneliness. You may also have severe mood swings over a short space of time. It's common for people with BPD to feel suicidal. Now, if you are suicidal, don't comment it down below. Reach out to a helpline. I'll put some links on the screen. There's some resources for you. Reach out for support because I promise you it's worth it. Next, we come to impulsive behaviour. There are two main types of impulsive behaviour. An impulse to self-harm, an impulse to engage in reckless and irresponsible behaviour, an example being binge drinking. Now, unstable relationships. If BPD, it's possible that people in your life are going to abandon you, or that people get too close and smother you. Here are some things we may do if you feel that you're going to abandon us. Constantly texting or phoning, making threats to harm or kill yourself if that person ever leaves you. Now, I've never done the second one. I do constantly text and call though, because I worry that I'm not loved. Treatment for BPD. DBT programs, they run for about a year, sometimes less. The six month programs, yeah, I've done DBT twice, and both of times have been a year long program. Mentalization based therapy, I've never done that. Arts therapy, I've done arts therapy. I would recommend. Medication, a subject that comes up on my channel a lot. There's no medication actually licensed for BPD, however, Medication can be prescribed for symptoms and co-occurring mental illnesses such as depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder. As someone diagnosed with BPD, among other mental illnesses, I can say medication has changed my life. I do struggle with abandonment issues, so much so I've basically cut off from everyone apart from my family. So that's about it for this video. I hope I was able to explain BPD enough for you guys. I actually made, I actually made a version of this video four years ago. But an important fact about the video is it's crap. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon. Click here, click there. Or if you'd like to make a one-time donation to the channel and support me, my PayPal is linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.